can't. Come on, leave it alone. You're so evil. Why you do this? Weirdo. Um, yes. Seriously, leave the light alone. Come on, man. Get off the... Come on, down. Down. Shift it. There we go. Much better. Hi. My word. You know when you know like that that thing uh, that uh, that old <laughs> that old filmmaker and presenters thing never work with animals or children. Like absolutely, absolutely, hundred percent, never. If you're in front of a camera and you need them to do something, or need them to not do something, that's the thing that they're gonna do, or not do, dependent. <sighs> Always the opposite. Bloody cat. Seriously, dude, like, come on, man. Yeah. Will you get out the way of my light? Come on. Dude. Ugh. <sighs> Seriously, cat. And, right, so cat's in front of the in front of the light there, as you can see. Great. Um, are you quite done? Yeah, good kid. <sighs> right. Okay. So went to Mall of Berlin. Didn't do any recording because it's just me pushing Rowan around in the uh, in the push chair in the stroller and. Sigurda is actually going to join me. Cat, leave the kitchen door alone. Oh my god. Well, I know exactly what the opening thing is gonna be. It's gonna be every single outtake of this bloody cat. Because, you know, Germany. <sighs> Sense on. Get out of the bottle bag. Oh my god. Yeah. Hi, kitty. What's wrong? Have you lost your way? No. No, you're just you're just trying to get the microphone. Yeah, of course, of course, you're just trying to get the microphone. You come up here. Right. Leave that alone. Here we go. So. Meow. Meow. Hello and welcome to day number. This. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, I should have looked. I should have been sticking with everything that I wanted to do and recording every single day, but I'm still trying to get back into the swing of things. Um, how are we getting on? We're getting on okay. Like, I've come up a little bit in weight, not a great deal. I mean, we're talking like, we're talking within a kilo, like within two pounds, which is pretty much like a maintenance level. Um, I've been sort of like yo-yoing back and forth and stuff, but I've not been doing particularly well diet-wise either. Like, you'll see that when it comes to comes to the food segment. But, um, you know, like I, I've been making some progress back into the normal swing of things. I've had a couple of days where I've gone completely vegetarian. Uh, I've had a couple of days where I've been like fully McDougal compliant for the first half of the day and then like ruined it on the night time or like ruined it first thing on the morning and then got back into into the swing of things for the evening. So I'm I'm getting there. That isn't exactly what I want to be able to report to you. I want to be able to say, yeah, like I'm I'm back on it and I'm doing great. But you yeah, know, if if I wasn't being honest with you, I like I wouldn't be honest with myself, you know? Like I, I, I can't like I can't turn around to anyone who's watching and say, you yeah, know, it, it's easy all the time and, and you're gonna have no problem with it because I've had multiple problems with just sticking to this way of life. Like it's, it's pretty easy when you're in the swing of it, but when things happen and knock you out, like I can either lie to you and say, oh yeah, well, everything's easy. Or I can be honest and show you that, yeah, like people do stumble. Even the weird YouTuber dude that you look at and watch for God knows what reason. But anyway, you know, no judgment on you. All 600 odd of you, weirdos. <laughs> 
quite seriously. I, I'm still like baffled every single day as to why there are 600 plus people who watch this. Like not all at the same time, obviously. <sighs> Please don't knock over my lights. Like seriously, cat, like, come on, man. Like, I don't come and kick over your food bowl. Anyway, right, um, so, uh, we've been in and out and around and done stuff. I, like, I've done some recording as well. And just, you know, I'm gonna throw that in at some point during this, uh, possibly like at the beginning, at the end, I don't know. It's just like time lapsey sort of footage of going places. Um, we've been to the Mall of Berlin. Uh, but I didn't record anything while I was there. Sorry, the cat, like, Dexter. We've been to the Mall of Berlin, um, but I didn't record anything when we were going there just because it was just me and Rowan and I'm trying to get the push chair out. And doing that with, like, camera equipment on is possible, but, like, uh, I just needed to, to get there, you know? Um, things have been going decent, like, yeah, we did that, and we've been out today as well. We went to a restaurant today. Uh, we finally managed to go to the barbecue place that I've been wanting to go to since Sigurd told me about it, probably about a year ago, and we finally managed to get onto it. And you know what? It was good. It was definitely, like, it was definitely good, like, good meat, but... I don't know, like, I kind of came away from it just wanting something different, wanting something else. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, that was, that was really good. But, you know, it didn't quite hit the, hit the satisfaction level that something like that would have done before. Like, really tasty, really nice experience, but, hmm, yeah. I don't know, probably just not enough carbs. Um, right, so... Good news. Let's get on to good news. Let's get on to the thing that I'm kind of excited about, um, which is Saguta is actually going to join me. Cat! Uh, oh. Cool. Yeah. Okay, let's get into the slightly more exciting news that I've got, which is Saguta is actually going to join me in this stupidity of trying to get back into... Uh, you know, eating vegan and that sort of thing. So um, today I went out, it, it's a Sunday today, but a couple of stores were open. Like every now and again for, for specific weekends throughout the year, um, there's a, uh, the, a Sunday opening uh, for stores, usually like supermarkets and food places and that sort of thing that aren't usually open on a Sunday. But I went out and I bought a bunch of stuff. Like, I, I spent like 52 euros and seven on just everything. I bought like kohlrabi, potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, um, radishes, carrots, uh, some awesome, <laughs> some awesome glass Tupperware tubs. Not quite exactly the same as, uh, as Brian and Jessica have, but still like decent size and, and they should keep everything fairly fresh and, and you know, quite large portions. And I have just sliced everything up and thrown it all into boxes and arranged stuff. So Saguta has a salad that she can just pick up and take to work tomorrow with her. Uh, which is, you know, entirely like McDougal compliant. Um, we've got baked potatoes here that I've left out cooling for a little bit. Uh, so she's gonna take a couple of those. I think uh, she does have a small, and I mean really small, pot uh, filled with grapes that she's gonna take just because, you know, like I'm, I'm not exactly like giving her like the full, <laughs> the full thing of like, no, you can only eat potatoes and some vegetables and, you know, like, we're not putting her on a Mary's Mini, we're just like letting her try this sort of thing and removing a lot of stress from it because now she doesn't have to like pick the food that she's cooking and making and taking and this, that and the other. It's me that's doing it, which, you know, I, I, I've been doing that and prepping stuff for myself for all these months leading up to this point. I don't know why she hasn't just given up and let me do it before now. 
um, before any of you start commenting about my culinary prowess. This is literally just chopping up vegetables and, and throwing it in a box. Like, you know. Anywho, anywho, all that away to the side. She's joining me. We're going to give it a go. And after I've had this week of, like, sticking with everything solidly, then I'm going to start Mary's Mini again. So next Monday, not this one coming, not the one tomorrow, but the one after, that's Mary's Mini number three. Got it? I haven't come up with a name yet. That's when it's happening. I had a realization the other day as well, which I think is going to help me with, you know, sort of going forward and getting back into the swing of things, but I'm not entirely sure. Like, I'm, I'm hopeful it's going to help. And that realization was late at night on Thursday. So Thursday was games night. I ended up ordering in some uh, some stuff from a normal takeaway, uh, eating some lamb dinner and that sort of stuff. Um, not the greatest decision <laughs> ever. It was decent enough, but you know it was like it wasn't great. Um, and I, I came to this decision. I, I, I had this realization, which was as I was laid in bed just, you know, sort of trying to go to sleep and, and the brain's still going as it tends to do. I was laid there and I thought, do you know, I, I've let my standards slip so much over the past, I don't know what it's been like, it's been about four weeks since, since like going in for, for surgery and stuff, I think. I can't remember exactly. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sort of laid there and I, I'm saying to myself, I put myself through all of this work, like I've vlogged almost every single day. There's been some big gaps, don't get me wrong, but you know, I, I've done this all of this time. I've got like 600 plus people that are like, you know, following my channel at least, or at least subscribed, you know, they don't all watch my videos because, you know, I get that people don't have like 20, 30 minutes, an hour to watch me ramble in front of my cabinets every single day. Um, but I've got this massive support network of people that are, are sort of like at least tangentially invested in my journey. And I, I've put myself through all of this work and done so well and made so much progress. And I do mean so much progress. Like I'm down 50 pounds. I'm still over 50 pounds down from when I started. Even with having a month or three weeks or whatever it is, just eating meat and, and doing stupid stuff because now it doesn't hurt when I do it. Like, idiot. Mm -hmm. What was the point of doing all of that if I'm just going to throw it away? And my intention has never been to just say, like, ah, yeah, like, quit it and meh. But... Like, having all of this stuff with, like, the surgery and everything, and yeah, I know it was extremely minor as surgeries go, but, like, I've never had that before. And when you face that sort of thing, it can be quite off-putting. It can be quite scary. Like, I, I, I was a little bit worried about it all. Like, I'm not downplaying it. Like, I know that it's a very, very routine thing and it's all going to be fine 99 times out of 100. But, you know, I, I've never even broken a bone. I, I've never been in hospital before. Like, not for me. So having to go through all of that was like this weird, like, I guess, like, existential thing, like, oh my god, like, I am actually, like, just as vulnerable as everyone else. Like, yeah, I know, like, it's a really stupid thing to think that you're completely invulnerable and what have you, but, like, I always thought I was, like, healthy despite my being overweight and stuff, and it turns out that, no, like, I mean, like, since I switched to this diet, I've had nowhere near the amount of colds that, it, that I've had previously, like, year on year. I've had, like, when I've had them, they've been nowhere near as bad. Like, I've not had a single 
reaction to like certain spices that I would usually do. Like I, I think I told you about this. Like I'm not allergic to anything by any stretch of the imagination. I, I'm, I'm not. But like there's, there's like one thing that I ate. Like I think it's like paprika or something or other Pringles, and. Uh, it always um, sort of like inflamed my throat a little bit and made me cough. And it, there were certain things that I would eat that would have that same reaction. And I never figured out exactly what it was. But like since I started like just eating plant-based, I've never had that. No matter what spices I've thrown into stuff, it's just gone away completely. Even all of this time when I've been eating a bunch of utter rubbish and eating like potato chips and this and that and the other and, and fat and grease. It's all been fine. But like, yeah, no, I don't know. It, it's kind of a weird rambly point that I'm trying to make <laughs> like every other point that I try and make. Right. But yeah, I think every, I think all of it just threw me off and I, lost my way. Yeah, I, I don't know, like, I've come off of the wagon, and I've been off the wagon for a while, and I've been trying to get back on the wagon, <laughs> back on the footplate even, and that's been hard, and I'm still not perfect, like today definitely has not been perfect, you know, you don't go to a, like, a massive meat barbecue, <laughs> and think that things are okay, you know? But I'm trying, and I'm getting there. And, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, I will just be back to normal, and I'll be back on this journey, and I'll see my scale numbers coming down and have some extra non-scale victories and that sort of thing. And we'll just go from there. Okay. Good. Speaking of non-scale victories, actually, like, I think my neck looks a bit thinner, like, around this bit. Um, that might just be because it's been so long since I recorded a vlog that I have completely forgotten what I look like on camera. Maybe. Um, another thing was, um, when I was laid in bed, I, I felt like my elbow on the back of my arm, and I think just because of, like, the way that I was laying, and the fact that, like, you know, the fat is, is you know, sort of shrunk a little bit, um, it just felt weird feeling my arm, like my, my triceps and biceps and stuff. It was just like, ugh, it was, it was so strange. It genuinely felt like someone else's arm, even though, you know, I can feel both sides of it. So, hmm, um, what else? Like, eh, nothing really. Like, my stomach looks a little bit thinner, I guess. Um, you know, I'm still taking my photographs every single morning. There's been some spots where I haven't like over the uh, over the past couple of weeks after uh, after having my after having my surgery and that sort of stuff just because I didn't have access to a full length mirror I'm looking a lot more like straight up and down than you know capital D <laughs> or capital P is the, the case maybe um yeah like that's been that's been pretty cool um and, oh yeah, I, I stretched today. Like, I, I happened to stretch in the living room in front of our mirror and I, you know, arms up, but a full extension sort of thing. And it was really weird. I, I actually saw like the, the edge of my rib cage, you know, like the, the sternum and stuff. I saw that creep up and bulge out over the top of my belly for the first time in I don't even know how long. I don't even think I've seen myself at a full stretch without like a giant distended stomach. And this was so strange because, you know, it's like here's the, here's the curve of the sternum and then it dips in ever so slightly where the edge of it is and, and you know, the sort of, the skin is still attached to the underside of it. And then it goes out into the belly. And I was like, oh, whoa, whoa, that's, that's a bit weird. But yeah, that was that was kind of cool actually. Like it shows that things are changing and things are being very very different. And I'm totally for that. I am very much looking forward to completing these Mary's minis, the ones that I'm going to do in the future and just crash down and hopefully, you know, hit about 90 
80, I don't know, whatever it happens to be in time for November. Um, oh, uh, a thing that I didn't mention. Um, day nine, Sean Plot uh, is a Twitch streamer and basically just a YouTuber who I followed for many, many years. Um, I started following him for StarCraft II games and advice on how to play and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, he also plays Magic the Gathering, Hearthstone, tons of stuff. And he streams every single day. He is, I think he's one of the first people that ever streamed on Twitch for 365 days in a row, like completely unbroken. I mean, that's pretty impressive, right? If you're into that sort of thing, <laughs> like, it's pretty good. Like, that's kind of what inspired me to try and hit every single day. Um, <laughs> I know I've failed miserably, but, you know, I, I'd like to think there's been, like, some reasonable breaks for it. Um, yeah, now, uh, he is doing this thing with his subscribers called the uh, the Day Night 30. Uh, night with a K, you know, like the, uh, like on a horseback, sort of, yeah. Um, and what they're doing is they're doing like a 30-day accountability project where you uh, you go onto the website, onto the message board, you say like, oh yeah, I'm joining in the, the day night 30. Uh, this is what I'm going to do in 30 days. And you don't put like a defined endpoint on it, like I'm gonna learn programming in 30 days, woo! Because that's kind of unrealistic. It's so it's more along the lines of, okay, I want to learn programming. I'm going to work for two hours a day, every single day, for 30 days, and see where I am at the end of it. Or I'm going to go to the gym every single day for an hour, every day for 30 days, that sort of thing. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can fold in what I'm doing with that, um, as well as... I want to try and, and, you know, arrange, like, something else. I'm not entirely sure what I want to put in there. Um, it might be, like, buy a new model kit and put that together. Work on a master level kit once a day for 30 days. Or, I don't know, like, <laughs> stick on schedule with my video making. One video a day, every day for 30 days. Um, it might be, like... I've got 30 days to make my new title sequence. Um, or, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to try and, and stick to a Mary's Mini for 30 consecutive days. Like, I, I don't know yet. We'll see. But I'm, I'm thinking about it. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can join in with that and, you know, hopefully get some sort of some extra support going. Because I think that would be quite cool if, like, you know, I'm cheerleading other people and they're cheerleading me and, you know, that sort of thing. Um... But anyway, anyway, I think I've probably rambled more than enough. Like, I've got lots of footage to deal with. I've got videos that I took the other day. Um, I'm, go I'm gonna go and sort it out, get it all put together. And also it's kind of warm in this kitchen and the cat's being a nuisance. I'm gonna go. Thank you very much for joining me once again. I will see you tomorrow. I'm making a damn promise. Tomorrow, tomorrow, okay? message me and, and comment in the video if I forget and I'll just get inundated with notification after notification and then I can't ignore it anymore. A video tomorrow and we'll get everything up to date and back on track and I'll let you know how I'm doing, how Sagut is doing with following along with the diet and that sort of thing. And yeah, I'll see you then. Okay? Good. Right. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>